You're listening to the Mind Triggers Podcast with Nine Nils, Juicy, Henny Luke, and Jay always in the background. And remember, the whole team gotta win. Paper planes, Mary Jane, take a puff, we on our way. What up, what up, what up? It's your girl, Nine Nils. I'm Juicy. And it's Jay, always in the background. Henny Luke. Today we got a, a new guest, a new uh, family to the podcast. Let me see, she's a freestyle what freestyle nail queen. That's what it, is that what it is? Yes, freestyle queen. Freestyle yeah. queen of the nails, Miss uh, J C Nailed It. Hello. So, hey. uh, tell us where are you from? I'm from Chicago, born and raised. Um, of course, like you already announced, I'm a nail tech. Um, I've been in a gang for about a year now. Um, I do freestyles mainly, but I do basic sets all the way up to super extravagant. Um, I'm also pursuing selling lingerie. Um, right now, currently, I'm selling accessories, you know, like lip gloss and cuticle oil, lashes. Um, and I'm just going to continue to expand my empire and be everything. I plan on doing waxes and also offering like full mink lash services next year. Mm. Damn, that's a long list right there. <laughs> so, what I'm doing, just going to one job. <laughs> Damn, that is a nice list. That's a lie. <laughs> what you mean? Yes. Your middle name is Ike. You have multiple income, passive incomes. But still... You didn't hear that that list she she just named? We can't beat that, but you 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 (laughs) right next to her. (laughs) Now now, how long you been? Um, how how long you you say you been? I guess in the in the in the nail game, you said like a year. Yeah, so I went to school first. So I went to Delhi to get my license as a nail technician, and then like I actually started doing nails after that. So I've been practicing like doing nails for a year before that, but I've been doing nails like on my own since after school for a year now. Okay. Now, when you practice, is it like when you like when you like practice to be like a uh, masseuse? Like you like you got to get like free clients and they come in there. Um. So actually, now in school. We charge like the bare minimum. So like if you go to a regular nail salon and it's like fifty eight dollars to get a no chip pedicure, it's more like twenty five dollars at the most. And then we don't get paid that money. We can only collect tips. So um yeah, you can get paid but it's like very little. Like you still getting paid though, cause you got an instructor like right over you, making sure you don't make no dramatic mistakes so the person still get a good service. Mm-hmm. How long was the class for? Oh, like seven, maybe eight months. Oh, damn. But it's counting in hours, correct? Yes, in hours. It's not that a day. So it you could go, it could be a little faster than that if you want full time. I wasn't going full time because I had a job. Mm hmm. Yeah. Now, wait, what made you get into nails, though? Um, actually, um, I lost my, I've been thinking about doing nails for a long time, but I was very content with working a nine to five until my brother had got murdered and that had triggered me to go and pursue my dreams of becoming a nail tech. Cause I'm like, you know, life is short. Let's go queen. Right. Definitely. So do you have any good, um, nail hygiene tips for the ladies? Um, yeah, tra- like my best thing would be is like don't go too far on one set trying to like just hold on to it because a lot of clients that come to me, um, and I hate to say the word chop shop because everybody tags an Asian nail shop as a <laughs> chop shop and it's actually some good Asian salons that do really good work and really good quality meals. But a lot of people that come from a chop shop, which is the time for like any poor quality shop, they'll get water trapped under their nails and it'll cause them to get green spots, mold, fungus. fungus. Mm -hmm. Um, and stop going over, um, nails with a new nail. If you got like an open cut or a wound, 
on your nail because a lot of clients do that they be like girl uh i broke this i'm just gonna pop it off can you put a nail over it and i refuse that i do not do that like i will not put a nail i'll be like i'll do you a full set but you're gonna be missing that one nail <laughs> oh lord <laughs> Cause, no because they uh they will they will people will drag you on the social media it don't yep. matter right how long once again you knew somebody mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could just, it could be your girlfriend from 10 years of uh, grammar school and high school and if you do some stuff that you already know like this gonna be an infection or whatever and she convinced you like girl just do it as soon as it get infected she gonna swell up and down like oh this is because i came to jc and got yeah. my yep. Yep. and i'm gonna get dragged yep. on social media that's your money it. yep Yep. That's 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 wild. It'd be own people. We know how fake news <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah, def yeah, you're definitely right on that. So tell me, JC, what nails um design would you choose for me and Juicy? Just by looking at S them. Dick. Yeah, purpose. please read the quote. <laughs> <laughs> wait, oh, wait first. No. Wait, wait first. Are you familiar with the term dick rippers? She is. How you know? Yes. Because she's a nail tech. Every nail tech know what dick rippers is. Oh. So both of y'all like to wear dick grippers. I don't like nails. I actually wear a press one I bought from the beauty supply store. But Juicy in love with nails. She get her nails done faithfully. I do, but yeah, so because I gotta send you a set. Yeah, you, you do uh, like press ons. That. I do press ons. Yes, I do. Yes, I just get into that. I'm gonna send y'all some sets. Y'all just have to inbox me on Instagram what address y'all want to mail to. Oh, that's so what's right. up. I like that. Thank you so much. Yes. Look, these are, uh, these was actually long last week, and I cut them down because I don't. Oh, those the same ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, no. you cut them down right. Trim you them nice. You know what? <laughs> I found Since them y'all like big grabbers. Since y'all like dick grabbers, but you really don't want dick grabbers, mm -hmm. what I would do is the milky nut white in like a short set. For, wait, like, for who? For which one? For the one with a black sweater on. Oh, okay, that's me. That's, nice. that's me. <laughs> I, I would give you a nut white or the milky white because some people don't like the provocative Say, say it again, JC. Nut white. Say it again. Nut white. Mm -hmm. nut white. We like the term here. <laughs> oh, we, we like that term. You got nuts in your mouth right now, right now? Yeah. <laughs> They'll be white soon. <laughs> so. Yeah. I would recommend the nut white color in like a medium, maybe short set with like maybe an accent finger of cuticle bling or maybe some pixie crystals just to give it that little bit of pop so you still get that dig grabber feel but without having a dig grabber yeah and then my my orange shirt i'm gonna give you some dig grabbers without giving you dig grabbers too because you know i can make it happen guess what i'm gonna put on your hands some dicks <laughs> no, glow. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a short to medium set and all going the dark acrylic powder. Yes, so how you know me? Why you hitting? A... <laughs> wow, how you know me? <laughs> wow. Y'all hitting? Y'all hitting that? Yo, yo, man, you gonna let baby turn out all the lights and shit? And all of a sudden, while you giving a hand job, your shit just gets a glow. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, a, actually, like a haunted house. <laughs> I just had a glow in the dark yeah. side when I went on vacation. I love glow in the dark nails. Uh, I got a question. Though. Like, what's the male equivalent, equivalent to dick grabbers? Like, you get a manicure, you call them pussy poppers? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good question. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent question. <laughs> Sound like a go to me. Okay. What's equivalent? Do not come up I think you need to write that down. Niggas can't play with this pussy unless they got the pussy poppers. Yes, exactly. Let me see what your pussy poppers looking like, Jen. Small. <laughs> Jermaine, they, Small. they clean. Where are the camera at? They clean. They well manicured. You got nice pussy poppers. Mm -hmm. You're damn right. <laughs> <laughs> this per persuasion pussy so poppers. do you do men's nails also? No, I do not. Oh. No, Why not? I'm not trying I don't, to I don't shade, think I, don't, I got to shade. I, don't, I got to shade the men. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Uh, let me tell you, when I got into doing meals, I honestly thought that I was going to have problems out of the female customers that I had, like being like, oh, I don't like it like this. I like it like that. But it's the men. <laughs> like, really? y'all start, yeah, like, first of all, y'all, y'all, I've been shortchanged before <laughs> by a male customer. When I did take men, the, his service was only $28 to get his um, manicure or whatever. And when it came time to pay, he was like, 
แทนเฉยๆแบบว่าไม่ like looking for a new port yeah looking for a lighter I got only got twenty five do you want me to run to the ATM yep blah blah I'm like bro I'm not wait because I got another client and you know what I'm saying like my uh, my thing is when you book with me you get in privacy like you yes. get an experience you cannot get back going to a salon and you surrounded by a whole bunch of the same chemical uh-huh. and all these people around people on their phone and then you know they, what I'm saying what is and then they also blessed with the twins <laughs> right 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 <laughs> <laughs> and. And it's like, what if you need to have a personal conversation? You might be able to curse your baby daddy out sitting in matcha, but you don't want to do all of that and argue with him in public. Like, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> I feel you. People like privacy, especially now with COVID and whatnot. Like, why not? Now you're right. No, nope. I would pay for the personal experience. Yeah, cause that that make me feel like on some bullshit. Like I got my <laughs> own space, right? Like how niggas feel when they get their haircut and they barber come to their house. Them house calls. Yeah, niggas feel like the shit. <laughs> I'm about my old school. He'll yeah. come to my house. I got to go to his house when COVID hit. Can you coming over? It? All right, man. <laughs> I'll be over there. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, but um, the guys, they, they go pretty crazy. And those are the clients that always try to book with me without paying a deposit, too. Like, they're like, damn. Oh, you know me. You know me. Let me just come. I swear, I'm going to tip you and da 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 And I'm like, the people that always say what they're going to do, they don't, don't give do it. you the worst <laughs> problem. Mm-mm. That's no, wild. So I, com- I completely, I do not take me in at all. Hey guys, it's Juicy, one of the four hosts from the Mind Triggers podcast, here to tell you about the TG playlist on Spotify. The TG playlist is a weekly changing playlist curated for the culture. You'll hear various podcasts, including ours, as well as music from indie artists to chart topping performers. So get your vibe set for the week and tune into the TG playlist on Spotify. Now we, we come to the time of the show. Where we uh, when I like to describe our guests, not can you do the honors, please? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the ones that can see or cannot see, I'm gonna have to ask you your height. You no taller than five three, correct? Um, yeah, I'm five five actually. Oh, all right, because the picture I'm looking at, it looked like you 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 not tall, but you're not short. Wait, right. just show know what picture. Just, uh, describe the picture you're looking at first. This, the picture that you have on um, jeans, cut up jeans, and you have on, a, I think it's a a beige top with like, a hat. Like a fedora? Uh-huh. Fedora hat. And your hair long? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on vacation in that picture. Yeah, you like in the bathroom. Yeah. And like, a, <laughs> like posing in the mirror. Yeah. That picture. Okay. We. All I know about these two twins, but I don't do the twins no more because that's my co-host special. <laughs> but let's see if he is good on camera. You, you round on yes, the you round on the other side the the town. You can see it from the front. Yeah, I can see it from okay. the front. <laughs> okay, that should go in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> you thicker than the bag of skittles, and you also has nice feet. Thank you. I'll pride myself on that. Yes. And of course, your nails is gorgeous too and whatever. And I do love your shades. But Luke. Wait, a little disclaimer. Luke got a record right now. I don't know how he does it. We have no idea. Because I don't do it no more. I used to do from head to toe. But I I, I have to give it to him because that's how good he is. He's been 100% accurate on, on women's breast sizes. Wow. Don't know how he do it. I got a couple wrong. Nah, you ain't getting nothing wrong. No, I don't remember. Nah, I ain't remember nothing wrong. <laughs> no, he he was I think off by on one number. Oh, okay. You got it right. I there. think she was capping that. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, look. I'm sorry. Uh, based on a picture and a video, it's tough. It's kind of tough, but I'm gonna say like a thir- between a 38 triple D or maybe even a 38 F. Oh no, it's a 38 uh, double D. Oh, double D. Double D. Damn. That's it. <laughs> I still see you right in that one. That was like way more than double D. No, it's the shirt, y'all. It's the shirt. It's giving no. me both it's shirts. Look <laughs> 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 like oh no, I, I knew some tickle bitties. This is a sad view. I knew this it was a, a double, view, but I, I wasn't sure what double was. Luke, you, you did your nails done, right? 
<laughs> Chicago ain't that far, right? <laughs> nah, Jay's around the corner. Yeah, ain't that far. <laughs> yeah, I wore this shirt because I knew this was going to be a raunchy, like, off, off guard. Yeah, so, well, we so thank I you. Had to, I had to come dressed appropriate for the occasion. Like, Absolutely. The, about, and, and we appreciate that. Exactly. Cheetah? And we appreciate that over here. Hit him with a round. All right. Can I ask you a question, <laughs> JC? Mm-hmm. What was you for Halloween, babe? <laughs> oh shit! So I literally bought a ski mask off of um, Amazon, mm-hmm. and I just put one on and like put some black ass shot on my face and just said I was like a robber. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't do no costume. <laughs> you should have did Kanye if you was gonna do that. That would been the Kanye for me. I see that. Yeah, I wanted to originally do the Kim Kardashian yeah. all blacked out costume, but mm-hmm. I had made my plans last minute. So, got it. So, what you was all for Halloween? Me? No, I, I was a, juicy. She she's the Halloween girl in here, right? I love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday besides my birthday. Um, actually, it's only the, the only holiday I celebrate. But I was Catwoman this year for Halloween, and I was a um. A zombie 80s workout person like i don't know like you know with the leotard and the colorful color yeah i know exactly what that. you're talking about <laughs> so i was both of those what's uh your favorite print song i will die for you oh yes yeah i'm not i'm not I don't, i'm not a big prince fan so i don't know i that, am you are what's what? your favorite print song i don't want to even talk about it you know that song, JC? Hell no. And I went <laughs> I to Prince hell House. No. You went to Prince House? I went to Prince House. Yeah. yeah. I paid for the tour. It was lit as fuck. It's in, it's in Cincinnati, there. right? Lit as fuck? Damn. No, it's in Minnesota where he lives. Oh. Damn. It's, oh, yeah. it's in his home. It's in his home. Like, his museum is his home. Like, it's, it was the cool one of the coolest Hold thing I ever done in my life. Hold up. They turned the, his home into a museum, right? Yeah, but that was in his like will or something mm-hmm. about he he kept his house actually and everything was original from the year he bought it. So Damn. it was very it, I mean everything, the furniture, Get out. the murals on the wall. I mean everything was just just exactly how it was when he bought it. The only thing he updated in his house was his TVs because over time the TVs didn't continue to yeah. work. The ones that he originally bought back then. Mm. But Paisley Park is exactly the same when he first got the house. That's I cool. would love to see that. <laughs> the Prince is like my stepdaddy. Luther is my father. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead serious because and when that was on, I knew my mother was in a good mood. But J- J- you mind this, you mind this accent? How old are you? Well, what? Give us an age range of for you. I'm 28, baby. Ain't I love my age? Okay. I'm 28. Round. Got that old soul because you don't you don't hear that many 28 year olds that listen to Prince that like Prince like that. Right? Because I was about uh, to say yeah. I'm a little too uh, young for that. I guess, but no, you was <laughs> not. I didn't start listening to Prince until he did the Super Bowl. When he did the Super Bowl, I fell in love with his energy. And that's when I started like researching his songs. But before then, I did not listen to him. Mm. My mother loved her some Prince. <laughs> so, um, JC, how's your dating life? It's great. I am in a relationship. I'm happy. You in love? Like, I see the little balloons I'm- in the back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yes. not, nah, not the not the balloons. We we see that man pour you that champagne. <laughs> right, got him pouring your no, drink. That's that's my niece. My niece. I told her I was like, I'm gonna do a podcast, girl. When I when they asked me why my drink it, I said, come in here and pour it like I'm fancy. <laughs> I'm saying it. That's right. That's right. It worked though. She did a good job. That's she did a right. good job. <laughs> that's what they are for. She did a good job. <laughs> she that know was, the assignment. Yes, that's yes. what they for. She oh understood the assignment. Right. <laughs> well, since you're, since you're in a relationship, would you still, how would you say the dating pool is right now? If you could finish this sentence, the dating pool is blank. It's, it's actually great. I just think that women want uh, Russell Simmons, but, I mean, not Russell Simmons, but what's your boyfriend name? Russell. Husband. Russell Wilson. Mm-hmm. Man, I buy women, his book. <laughs> Women want a Russell women, a Russell Wilson in a future body. Mm. And that doesn't exist. Damn. That doesn't exist. I mean, Russell Wilson got a bad exist. body? 
He got a nice body though. No, I'll take but that, I, I, no, we get what I you're get saying. What you're saying. saying. I get what you're saying. <laughs> they, they want the future to act like Russell and treat them like Russell. Right. And it's not. It's not happening. Right. You want a good hood nigga. It, it, you you can't, not ready. You, he not ready for that. You can't force nobody to be ready for that. Some people like future not gonna be ready to be a Russell until they like thirty eight. No, or like, ever. No, ever. <laughs> or ever. Right. I think he gets like, off and he gets hard by disrespecting women. You think so? well, I know so, yeah, because he could do girls like flyers. Like he might be Trey. <laughs> you, you, I don't yeah, know. no, Damn. yeah. I didn't even think Damn. about that. Yeah, I didn't even think hey, about I get that. That from men. Yeah, men told me how to spot Trey. Yeah. Damn. I, because if you not you 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 oh, gotta Trey. be consistent with something, and he's not nothing. Like not one of your baby mothers. Not one. Now let me ask you all, this. all of them hate them. Let me ask you this. Does looks still affect people while dating? Like, example, will light skinned dudes like ever come back? Or would or would fat dudes be 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 the shit after after winter? Um, looks don't ever play uh I feel like a real factor in dating is money. Money is a real dating factor because like if you strip a guy like Rick Ross, a guy who not very attractive in the face uh-huh. and not I mean not like oh just because Rick Ross is not my and little baby attractive. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. Like he's a general idea of what a guy would be if we described an unattractive guy, mm-hmm. very unappealing in the face, old not- overweight and, and at a point He's not he's not cute, she right. And over time, before he lost the weight, he was severely overweight. He was obese. Mm -hmm. Um, And he has never had a problem getting a relationship with a gorgeous woman Mm -hmm. because he has access to money. Yeah. um, It's really not about looks, y'all. No, but I got money is the best lotion. I also also know that Rick Ross has a big pole, too. Oh. I saw a little pulling tape on him. He's working with something, so. Nah, you see hella porno tapes about celebrities. Nah, you know that? Yes, it's like the, it's like the you 10th one. You the one recording them? Broken, that don't mean nothing. If I'm recording them, I'm going to be on them. you breath while you. <laughs> no, but to be up. honest, he was oh. holding his. Get- no, he actually was she holding. She said hitting them. <laughs> the, girl, the girl was like your size, and she was running. <laughs> So he was holding his, his doing his thing. So he so he was active for that camera, bag. I'm running too. <laughs> right, we, we finna get that coin. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah, he he has a nice little pole. <laughs> so what was your last date like, JC? Um, where did we go? Um, we went to the Cheesecake Factory. And um, the service was real big. Like, I had a gift card in my wallet. Yeah, they mailed me a gift card. Because the the waiter had a table of four dining dash on him. Oh, damn. Right before we got seated. And he was so distraught trying to explain a management what had happened because you know they assumed that you had your friends come up the and run out and yeah. play the oh they left me mm-hmm. um so he his man wasn't in the right space when he was helping us and we got our alcohol but the food never got sent in he never pressed the send button on the Damn. machine when you go put in the food so we were sitting away in an hour thinking that it was because it was crowded but when we had asked him where our food was his manager came and explained that he forgot to hit the sand button. But, you know, my day is always still good because me and my guy, we are just sit there and talking shit of the eyebrow. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm not fucking paying for this drink either. You know how that is. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> now, Girl, they did not give us our drinks for free. They had gave us the appetizer for free. <laughs> and next day I called the manager and complained like, what? Now you're right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, that's crazy. Before you before you got with your guy, what's 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 your dates? What's your thoughts on one night one night stands? Love them. <laughs> <laughs> really? no, 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 no. Um, I think that one night stands are cool, but people need to like. What's important is using condoms. Yes. And that's how you want to live. Remember, baby, STDs, STIs. A lot of people frown on one night stands. 
are also real. I never had. But one. that's I'd rather do a one night stand than have a soul tie with somebody who don't have no good intentions for me because I keep on freaking the same person trying not to up my body count. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're right. But chicks always divide this shit about every five years like a leap year anyway, so it won't matter. <laughs> <laughs> so it won't matter. Hey, hey Luke, hit us with that, that pick one. If it was trash, it never happened. <laughs> Big facts. Oh, that's, that's the Italian rule. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got to pick one. It's the pick one segment. Which okay. which BDSM are you into? Tie up Mr. Nasty Style from Friday After Next or tie him to the bed like Vince Vaughn and the Wedding Crashes? Okay, so I haven't seen either one. You have. Not Friday After Next? I have. Friday After Next when he was like, it's Mr. Nasty Time and he was in the chains and whips and she was... You remember, you remember that scene? But she very had the, lightly. Oh, the older couple. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. I'm gonna just go with them because I seen it. I can't remember about some of the shit I ain't seen. <laughs> you right. You right. Juice and I, what would y'all pick? Mr. Nasty Tom. So you can get. I, mean, I roll my eyes in the air like this nigga ain't gonna last long anyway. Like she did in the movie. So you gonna get tied? No, you gonna wanna get tied up? Yeah, I get tied up. Juice. Oh, definitely tied up. Mask and all. <laughs> Might add a little ball gag in there too. What that kept with mask? Big facts. <laughs> ball gag. Let me see y'all. So you guys into uh BDSM? <laughs> me and my mm-hmm. I I am, but not in this relationship. We don't do none of that. Yet. No. You know what? How would you how would you get him uh-huh. to do it? Would you would you ever ask him? Um, I've definitely, you know what, no, I've lived, honestly, you know what, and I'm all about, like, not forcing people to, like, do, like, if I've already experienced it, it's not addicting, and, like, it's a fetish, so I would never force my guy to, like, do any of that stuff, like, if he is just content with regular, like, spicy sex things, uh uh-uh, I'm not forcing that on him. Mm. Okay. So, for the people that don't know, what is BDSM? It's bondage, domination, sadism, masochism. So, um, it's it's so many. It's so hard to bundle it up into one ball because I feel like there's a male side to it and then there's a very extreme side to it. Absolutely. So, the commercial play version of BDSM that we all, I feel like, have seen would be like whips and... Um, you know, the level tying one. your spouse up, yeah, handcuffs. The level one type shit. Handcuffs to the bed, level one type shit. But it's real What's life the level people. two? Yeah, like they really try to choke you. They'll like squeeze the shit out of your titties with some ropes, like to them Damn. shit red yeah. as fuck. They'll be slapping your and titties, slapping you. They'll like fuck the shit out of your face with no like end. Like, sound like first hand experience. That that's that's yeah. nah. with domin- I, <laughs> I've watched it though. I feel childish. That's like dominatrix, right? Yes. It's, it, it I think I'd be so a good. That's the I, most popular part, being a dominatrix, because it's very lucrative money wise. Like especially if you had the money to like set up like real props and have a designer come in and put you up a cross board and all that Damn. different type of stuff. It's a lot of money to it because I the thing is, that. most people that pay for it is wealthy men mm-hmm. because they don't feel like they don't have any control in their own life and they feel safe. Well, bad that's having somebody make all the decisions for them. That's gonna be my next question. Uh, why do you think people are into are into it? Um, because you know, adult life is hard. <laughs> um, like every day, you have to make a decision: Do I pay this? Do I pay that? Do I go to work? Do I quit my job? Mm-hmm. Do I pursue being my own boss? And when you're in the space of letting somebody make all these decisions for you, you like, yes, family, I don't have to make those decisions. I could just, you know, saying, oh, do this, do that, do that. And I mean, depending on the person, it can be sexual and um, it, it can be non-sexual. So it, depending on where you're going, how you're doing and what you're paying for, you can get Man. like sex out of it if you tie me up and slapping the hell out of me i'm gonna need some sex after that at least it's the least you could do 
<laughs> yeah, but a lot they of they orgasm do from not that. Sleep with okay. their, yeah. They don't sleep with their they don't. Um, submissives. Mm-hmm. What? They submissives masturbate mm-hmm. afterwards. They'll allow some some doms will allow their submissive to masturbate in the room mm. after they leave. Mm-hmm. After they leave? Damn. What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lower. So uh, what's your favorite role to play? You're like more dom or submissive? Paper planes. Paper planes. Mary Jane. Mary Jane. 